Now, as you know, we're adding three new ships to our fleet. And we thought this would be an incredible opportunity to add another unique destination to our ports of call. So we scoured the Bahamas and the Caribbean for an ideal location that would enable us to create all new magic while celebrating the unique culture of this amazing region. And today, I'm beyond excited to officially share the location of this new Disney-owned and managed port of call. It's known as Lighthouse Point to those in the Bahamas, and it's found on the breathtaking island of Eleuthero. We are creating a one-of-a-kind destination that aligns with our company's long-standing and deep commitment to the environment, while creating economic opportunity and strengthening the community on the island of Luther. Now, isn't that beautiful? Now, I have to say, we're only able to bring this experience to you thanks to the extraordinary people of the Bahamas, and in particular, the people of Eleuthera. And today, I want to acknowledge two very special guests who helped make this project a reality. The Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar, Tourism Minister of the Bahamas, and Joshua Sears, Senior Policy Advisor to the Prime Minister of the Bahamas. Gentlemen. Now, to help imagine our presence on Eleuthera, there was really only one choice. So to help tell us more, please welcome Imagineer, Joe Rohde. Good morning, everybody. Lighthouse Point, this Lighthouse Point site, first of all, is gigantic. Um, and it is so beautiful, so full of nature. We want to focus on preserving that nature and use our designs to call attention to the extraordinary quality of the place itself. If you just look at these pictures of the rock forms that are all along the edge of this island, you can see how this place already has this magic spell all its own. So we're going to create a kind of seaside adventure camp that touches very lightly on the surface of this extraordinary land. We've already begun capturing visual samples of trees, flowers, fish, birds, bugs, shells, sand. Uh, and this is going to become the inspiration for the colors and the patterns in all of our designs. We want to draw attention to the natural beauty of Lighthouse Point and we'll be directly involved in conservation efforts to preserve and protect the environment because that's what creates that beauty. Sharing this story is really important to us. Disney has maintained a 60 year long commitment to environmental stewardship. We've acted upon it in big and small ways all around the world. The most obvious example being the Disney Conservation Fund, which now has awarded more than $75 million in grants uh, to conservation programs all around the world, including the Bahamas. So the Bahamas is not just a place of stunning natural beauty. There's also a fascinating cultural tradition of food, music, storytelling, dance, and the island of Eleuthera in particular, um, where Lighthouse Point sits, is full of artists. So we'll be working with painters and sculptors, musicians, storytellers, weavers, um, artists of every kind, much like we did with Aulani in Hawaii, uh, to create a completely unique destination that is saturated with the Bahamian culture and then imbued with Disney magic. Just for example, in the Bahamas, there's a traditional celebration. It's called Junkanoo. Junkanoo. It's a seasonal celebration. It happens in the winter. But the people who create the artwork that supports it, they work all year round. And they create these extraordinary, huge, colorful, really, really inventive costumes and floats. So we visited several of their studios to check in, to see what kind of work they were doing. The work's amazing. What was more incredible is to see the way that their work mirrors exactly the way we work at Imagineering. There is a sense of collaboration, teamwork, um, a clear sense of theme, clever use of materials, a profound awareness, of course, of an audience. So this seems really like a fertile thing to look at. We'll be working with all kinds of artists, uh, including some fine artists with international reputations, 
But these guys, um, our linchpin is to collaborate with these unsung heroes of, of the art world of the Bahamas, the creators of these amazing Junkanoo costumes. So you can expect like a lot of this vibe at Lighthouse Point. We've been going back and forth for a while. Uh, anybody who looks at Instagram, if you really look carefully, could see. Um, and some of you might know that I occasionally sketch. And I've been leaving a trail of sketches around the Bahamas, just of people, you know, going about their lives, doing their thing, all these real people that we're dealing with, because this project, like Aulani, is about people. I mentioned collaboration already. If this is going to be authentic, then it has to be a collaborative enterprise. It has to be something that we do together with Bahamian artists and thinkers. We've already been discussing ideas with creative leaders there, identifying the best ways for us to come together and share this rich, fascinating culture with our guests. Uh, this is Antonius Roberts on the left, um, and, and Kevin Cooper on the right. Antonius is an internationally recognized master from Nassau. Kevin Cooper is from Eleuthera. They're anchoring our effort to find and enlist a local creative community of artists so that we can bring the best of what we both have to this project and really make it sing. Now, I believe that the spirit of a team infuses the spirit of a project. So this stuff is important. And this team has been really fun to work with. These are great guys. That fun will be passed on to you. And the end result will be a place not like any other. Not a replica of some old Bahamian town, not a pirate fantasy, but a dreamlike landscape of adventure by the sea, where art and nature combine with Disney magic to create a destination that can only exist in one place, here at Lighthouse Point. Thank you, Joe. Come on, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Now, while we continue to work with the Bahamas on our plans for Lighthouse Point, our Imagineers are also hard at work creating the next generation of cruise ships. These new ships will have all the experiences that our guests love and all new magic that we're not quite ready to reveal. But as you know, the names of our ships say a lot about who we are as storytellers. Each ship is unique with names that embody the experience of sailing with Disney and the power of our stories. And today, I am so excited to share the name of our fifth ship. But to do it, I'm going to need a little help. What a fitting name. And that's because making wishes come true is part of the Disney DNA, and it's at the heart of so many of our stories. Disney magic will be found throughout this new ship, including the three-story atrium that will be inspired by the beauty of an enchanted fairy tale. We're, we've already shared that the Disney wish will be delivered to us in 2021, and I'm thrilled to announce this is an incredible new ship will begin to set sail in January of 2022. Now we have one more exciting announcement about the Disney Wish. You know, stern characters have always been a tradition on the Disney cruise ship since the beginning, as they reflect the theme of each of our vessels. And so for the Disney Wish, we want to feature a character whose story is all about, well, you guessed it, wishing. And so you'll find Rapunzel. whose story represents a desire to explore the world. 